Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's packing video, I'm going to be packing all of this into this little carry-on backpack. The reason why is because tomorrow on Saturday, I am going to Texas for three days. I am meeting my boyfriend in Texas. He's in Texas to be more specific. His sister lives down there along with his little niece. So we're just going to visit family basically, but we still want to do a few things. It's not set in stone as to what we're going to be doing. However, I think I'm relatively prepared and I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be packing all of this into my backpack. Okay, we're going to start from left to right. So this is my hat. If you saw my Utah vlogs, this is the hat that I brought with me to Utah, this is the hat I brought with me to Jamaica, and this is the same exact hat that I'm bringing with me to Texas. It's a Wildwood cap, pink, white, like a meshy material, very light. Love it. This is the mountain top foldable backpack that I bring with me everywhere. It is so useful whether you're going to the beach or going on a day hike or just wandering around the city. This is great to have on hand with you. Just my toiletries bag and the non-liquids bag. Wet ones to just wipe your hands and sanitize them just in case you know there's just no soap in the bathroom or anything like that. You can at least um, wash your hands with that. Just my packing cubes. This one is the Osprey one and then underneath is the Eagle Creek one. That is the smallest Osprey packing cube but it has like my undies, my bra, socks. And on the top here, this pink bottom and black top, that's my bikini, just in case we go swimming. Down here, this is my microfiber towel. I don't foresee us going swimming, but just in case we do, it's good to have that on hand. And it folds up very tight, very small, not a big deal. Laundry bag, essential. Electronics organizer bag. This is the fanny pack that I'm bringing. This specific one is the Solo brand by Backpacking Bananas, Christiane Rissman. These are my clothes. This is my pajamas. Um, no, these two are my pajamas. This one is my top and the other two are tops as well. And then those are my three leggings because I'm only going to be in Texas for three days. Batteries for my GoPro and the camera that I'm filming on right now. This is a travel adapter, however, this is great because it's super tiny, compact. It has all of the countries, the European um, outlet. You have the US, Australia, and the UK. It has four USB um, ports in it, so that way you can put four things in it to charge. It also has a little um, space here where you can input another um, plug into it so you can actually charge five things at once. And then this is where the uh, prongs come out of. Like that. GoPro, obviously. I don't know what type of uh, adventures and whatnot we're going to be getting into or if it's going to rain or not. I don't see rain in the forecast, but this is still good to have just in case. And like, it, it's a GoPro. This is the GoPro here and I, super lightweight, super tiny. Might as well bring it right, right. Just the makeup that I'm bringing with me. This has a little compact mirror on the inside of it. So this is why I bring it. This is bronzer. I don't put any bronzer on my face. This is the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you want to pronounce it, clear brow gel. This is the Marc Jacobs gel eyeliner pencil thing in like a bronze color. I really like it. This is the MAC Cosmetics Oat and Naughty Mascara. And just the Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever brow is in the shade dark brown to color in my eyebrows. Brush, of course. Face Halo. I used this for the past three days at work and it works just like a charm. So basically you put this under water and then all of your makeup comes off when you um, wipe it all over your face so I really like it so far and it's washable reusable so that way you're saving the environment as well of course this is my first aid bag it looks a little different from the first aid bag that I took with me to Utah this is just a different packaging 
well not a different package, but a different um, pouch to put them in. Some glasses in here, of course. These are just the cables to my Apple Watch and my Fitbit iPad with the iPad pencil, rain jacket, and last but not least, the backpack that I'm going to be fitting all of these things into. Before we actually get to the actual packing of this video, I wanted to show you my backpack that I'm going to be taking with me. This is going to be a carry-on item, and my fanny pack over there is going to be a personal item. Now, you're thinking, Jojo, why aren't you taking your Eagle Creek Global Companion backpack? Now, that is an amazing backpack. I've used it twice already. Once when I went to Utah and when I went to Jamaica. Sorry you never saw that packing video. That was such a, a rushed trip and I really didn't have time to film a packing video for that. However, because I'm only going to Texas for three days, I'm not really going to be taking like fins or anything of that sort. Um, I, I felt like this backpack was sufficient enough for the trip that I was going to be taking. Well, let me show you it. This is from Vera Bradley. I got this at the Hershey Outlets, so it was reduced price. I don't remember how much I paid for it exactly or how much it even cost to begin with because it was one of those deals where it was like 70% off plus 20% off, so I don't remember. I got this a few months ago. But anyways, it has a really, really nice, pretty floral pattern that has lots of different shades of blue, teal, white, all of it. It's so pretty. So this is the back. These are straps. They're very padded. This is very like foamy. It has like a little uh, sash right here so that way you could put it on a suitcase if you're carrying a suitcase. I'm not going to be taking a suitcase but if you are that is awesome to have. It has a little side pocket here which goes into this back area if you want to put something in there. So on the front here, we have a little handle, of course, this back section right here, it unzippers. This is like the little, um, I don't know if you could see it, it's, it's such a dark navy blue color, but this is like the laptop sleeve where you can put your laptop or whatever it is that you need to put in there. I'm going to be putting my iPad in here. And then you basically have a lot of this back section, it's really, really deep. Like practically my whole arm can fit into there, which is great. And then next, we have the middle section right here. And the really cool thing about this backpack is that it goes all the way down on both sides like that. And you can fully open it out, kind of like a suitcase or like with my Eagle Creek backpack, which I really, really love. But in this area here, we have a little mesh compartment. Right there we have a zipper on the top here, and that is about it for that section. You have two, two little water bottle holders here on the side, or you could put whatever it is that you want in there, honestly. But in the front, front, front compartment, the smallest of the three compartments, you have just extra room in here to put whatever it is that you need to in here. If you're looking for a backpack that has a lot of like the smaller compartments on the inside of these and whatnot, then this is a backpack for you. However, even when I have a backpack that has a lot of those little compartments, I just don't use them that much. I would rather have more space in a backpack than little tiny compartments that which are like useless for me. But this one has a lot of space on it, which is really, really nice. And the best part about this backpack is the shoe compartment. So just like the Eagle Creek backpack, you open up this bottom section right here and you can put your shoes in there. I didn't actually show you the shoes that I'm bringing. I'm going to be wearing a pair on the plane, but I guess I could go and get the other uh, shoes. Actually, they're sandals more like it. I'm going to be putting in here but basically the point is is that you have a whole section to put your shoes in there or whatever it is that you want to use to put in there um, but it's specifically designed for shoes it's not very deep like the global companion backpack it only stops a very short way into this so instead of putting your shoes in like this vertically you have to put them to the side horizontally like that but I'm going to show you that 
layer on. So this is the backpack that I will be taking with me. I think it has plenty of room to fit everything that I need inside of it. So let's finally, finally get on with the packing. So as you can see, I went over everything, each and every item. I'm going to be going into what's in this fanny pack more specifically. I'm going to be repacking these clothes into my packing cubes. I haven't packed in there from like, I don't know, four days ago, but I took them out so that way I can show you how I'm putting them into there. So without further ado, let's get on with the packing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with are my clothes. I'm going to be using these two packing cubes. This is the medium size Osprey packing cube and this is the Eagle Creek packing cube. For my Eagle Creek packing cube, I'm going to be packing up my tops and my pajamas. What you've noticed is that I have rolled all of these items and I highly recommend you do that too. Roll, don't fold. However, if you want to fold them, then so be it, you do you. But I like rolling it, it makes sure that everything is not only organized, it's not going to crease or wrinkle on me, but it ensures that I have, you know, lots of ample space in my packing cubes. This one is the longest, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like the, the widest, I wouldn't say, not long, but wide. So this is going to go at the back of the packing cube. And that's a good tip as well. If you have certain articles of clothing, even when you roll them, they seem to be longer than others. You know, like for instance, this bottom is a little bit wider than this top. Put the wider, longer stuff towards the back of the packing cube so that way you ensure that you have space up at the front and you're not going to struggle with getting the packing cube closed. That is my Topps Packing Cube. So now we're going to move on to the Osprey Packing Cube. This is where I'm going to keep my three leggings in. All these are from Fabletics. I love Fabletics. If you haven't noticed, I just live in leggings. And that's another good tip to have, you know, when you are traveling. If you are traveling, no matter if it's long term or short term, try to pack things that you typically wear on a daily basis when you're back home. Because more often than not, even if you bring those fancy clothing, thinking, oh, I'm gonna wear them in this net, you're going to gravitate more towards the things that you're used to, that you're accustomed to, and that are more comfy for you. And for me, I know it's leggings, so I just always bring leggings. They're all nice and rolled up. This one is the longest out of my other one, so this is going to go in the back of the packing cube. And when you're packing these, make sure you're putting them really, really down at the bottom like that. And there we go. That's my bottoms packing cube. Now, I'm going to take my backpack. I'm going to open it up all the way, just like that. I'm going to lay it out like that. I think we'll do that. So I'm going to take these medium packing cubes, put it on the side like that. All right. And because this one is smaller, I'm just going to wait until I put all the other bigger things in there. And that's another trick when you are packing. Put your bigger items down at the bottom and then the smaller items you can kind of finagle in there, you know. They can contour to whatever those spaces that are left inside the backpack are. So I'm just going to hold off on that. So for my next item that's going to go in here, I'm actually going to move on to my electronics organizer, which is this. This is from a company called Side by Side, and it basically has two zip compartments. And this one is going to be where I'm going to be keeping like my iPad little dock in here. I have the um, short stick for my GoPro is going to be in here. And when I'm done editing my uh, other vlogs, my um, five terabyte external hard drive is going to go in here. Basically, this part here opens up, and this is like my 
adapter, There's just some extra SD cards in here. We have cables, and it just closes like that, and then you zip it up. There we go. Good to go. And the reason I went for this one is because if you saw my Utah vlogs, I bought another electronics organizer, but it was pink and it was more like a square. And I used that a few times when I was traveling with my Eagle Creek backpack. And what I found is that that particular organizer cube was just too wide. However, when other things were packed into my backpack, I just found that it was taking up too much room. But with this one, it's, it's still thick because of what you have to put in there, but it's very slim. So it can easily fit on the side of whatever it is that you're using for your luggage bag, essentially. So I'm going to be putting this on the side here, like that. Moving on to toiletries. So this is the biggest bag that I have. So basically I have my toothbrush, all the makeup that I showed you in the beginning, face cleanser, body moisturizer, face moisturizer, we have mouthwash. I have a big bottle of this in my bathroom so what I do is when this is all um, empty, I just use the one from my bathroom and refill it so that way I am saving money and I'm not wasting so many plastic bottles. So if you flip it around, I have sunscreen of course especially that's important when I'm going to Texas in June it's going to be freaking hot and the Sun is going to kill you if you don't have any sunscreen so that's what I'm taking with me and then I have a face serum with vitamin C I think I believe but yeah that's it for the liquid for the non liquids I have my toothbrush of course I have my deodorant I have my um, soap, body soap, and I have this um, soap saver. It's made out of vinyl. This is what you put the wet bar soap onto, so that way before you put it back in this container, it's not going to get all soggy and gross and whatnot. This is the face halo that I'm bringing with me. I have <clears throat> on this side right here my little shower cap. I am planning to straighten my hair again for this trip like I did with Utah and it's just good to have so that way my hair doesn't get wet and resort back to its original curly frizzy hot ass mess. And then I think, oh nope, this is my bronzer. I don't wear bronzer especially because of COVID. We have to wear the masks and whatnot so I don't see the point in wearing face makeup uh, for my skin specifically but this does have a mirror and it's really really good so I just bring this just in case I need a mirror to be more precise with my makeup and I don't have a mirror on hand so that is it for my toiletries and now I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to fit this in here as well. I think we will move on to these two. This is my laundry bag, nothing special. This is a foldable backpack which if you haven't seen I brought this with me when I went to Utah it is absolutely amazing it's by Mountaintop I will like most of these things if I could find them in the description box down below so don't worry I got you so you unzip it I use this quite a few times now and I can tell you this is actually amazing even though it doesn't look that big but if it's a deceiving amount in there but you see this little uh, thing right here is actually a whistle so I'm not gonna blow it too loud because I actually am in an apartment and I don't want to disturb my neighbors at like 9 o'clock in the morning but just know that you can use this if you are in trouble you can whistle to get someone's attention so this is also a really really smart backpack to have put it on top like that this is so teeny tiny and thin i'm going to wait to put that in here i do want to make room for my little packing cube here so i'm going to put it at the top right there you know what? i'm just gonna slide it underneath my packing cube here that way it goes just like that and i 
think the last thing I'm gonna put in this main compartment is my birthday bag. If you want me to do a separate video about what I keep in there, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you also want to see this as well. But basically what I have in here is just a wide variety of medicine. I'm gonna put this in a little corner here. Oops. And my little organizer can go just like that. So the main compartment of the backpack looks like this. So I'm going to zipper it up. Just like that. In the back pocket area, I'm going to unzipper that. We still have some room. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to unclasp that and I'm going to show you putting my iPad in there. Not only do I love watching YouTube videos and just Netflix and Hulu on my iPad, but I also use it to take some notes. So that way when I'm making my future blog posts and vlogs, I can refer back to my notes on here and it just slots in like that. Beautiful. Ooh, it's okay. What I'm going to put in this back pocket area is my microfiber towel absorbent have lots of benefits. You can use these for when you're going to the beach or if you're going to like a, a hostel or to a place where they don't have towels, you can use these for that as well. Multi-purpose towels are the best when you're traveling. And so I'm going to see if I can just stuff it in here, which is absolutely fine, not a big deal whatsoever. What I'm also going to be packing in here are my wet one though. I find that really, really useful when I'm traveling. So going in the back right there. And something that I'm going to just kind of put in here on the top like that are just my sunglasses. I got these from Vera Bradley. I got the case from Vera Bradley too, so it matches my backpack. And the thing that I like about this case is that it is relatively Black. You are traveling. Let me see. I think that is it. Oh, and I'm also going to be taking my brush. I kind of forgot to uh, put that in there, but I'll just put it in the big section. Uh, zipper that up and then. And because I have so much room still, this fits like a dream, just like that. Moving on to the front section of my backpack. This, I don't like putting bigger things in here because I don't want it to bulk up too much. But the remainder of the things that I do have, they're not going to take up much room at all. So I just figured that would be a really good place for them to go, honestly. So, first up, I'm going to be taking extra Ziploc bags. You just never know when you need them, so it's just good to have. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be taking my portable battery. I'm going to be taking these. I'm going to be taking my travel adapter. I will be taking my GoPro as well. Put them in the sponge compartment. Actually I'm actually going to put this in the back section here, in the little corner, right there. And I'm also going to put this in the back section as well. Change my mind. Not a big deal. But I will put it in this outside pocket. It's just my cap. It's a cap, so it folds up just like that very beautifully. I don't care if that gets damaged or whatever, it, it's literally a hat. And then just my cables. I'm just gonna stick them in there. Okay, this is what my backpack is looking like so far. Fit 
hefty, you know, but that's okay. So because this isn't completely like full, I can push some of these things up to the side here and what I'm actually going to be taking with me are my sandals. These look like broken socks, but they're actually not. I got them from Kohl's. I don't even know what brand they are, honestly, but basically you could put your shoes and a shower cap. It's not deep like the Eagle Creek backpack. So you can't put it in like that, but what you have to do is put them in like that. If you get what I mean. So, this folds up nicely, just like so. See, just like that. Perfect, we're almost done with this, I promise. On the outside part right here, I'll probably put it on this side actually. My rain jacket will go in here just in case it rains, you never know. Whether in Texas or when I'm in Philly, go to the airport, it's good to be prepared. Last but not least, I'm going to be bringing my water bottle. I think I might have to switch this side. This side is less stuff. So I think just to make my life easier, this water bottle is going to go over here. And this, because it's a jacket, it's very thin and you can easily uh, move it about and whatnot. Uh, I'm just going to stuff that on the outside part. Last but not least, I promise, whew, is my fanny pack. I'm going to be keeping this with me on this trip through the airport. So, I'm gonna start with the back pocket because I am more likely to forget about the back pocket. This is what I'm keeping in the back pocket. This is my global entry card. Just in case for whatever reason my ID is lost or stolen, you can use this to go, domestically speaking at least, in the United States through the airport because this is a government issued form of IED or something like that, so you can actually use this. What I'm going to keep in the back pocket here are more masks. The front compartment here, what I'm going to be keeping is the charging cable for my phone. My phone can live in here, but because I most of my leggings have pockets like this, I'm just going to put my phone in my pocket. My portable charger, it has two little USB spots over here so you could charge uh, two devices at once and you can get about four or five chargers from this, which is awesome. Mask, of course, all folded and crumpled up, whatever. Um, Clorox wipes to disinfect surfaces. On the little side pocket pouch here, it's a great place to keep AirPods. Last but not least, the main pocket here. We have my DJI Pocket 2, just another camera. I like this because it's so small, it's discreet. I like vlogging with it. It has the Google stabilization built into this, so that way when you're vlogging and whatnot, it's not gonna be like super shaky or anything like that. For the most part, it's gonna be relatively stable, so I like that. I'm going to be taking with me my little wallet card. I have some cash in here. So it's just like my ID, insurance card, AAA, just in case we break down or whatever, that's a good thing to have. I have my debit card and just a couple of credit cards for my trip. Always, always carry some cash, no matter if it's just five or 10 bucks. You never know when you're going to need it or when your card's gonna get declined, lost, stolen, or places just don't accept credit cards. Always carry cash. And then last but not least, of course, my travel pouch. Just things that I, you would want close on hand so that way you're not digging into your backpack or your piece of luggage. If you need whatever is in here for whatever reason, it's easily accessible. And that is everything that I am taking with me. I'm going to tighten this up when I actually have like my uh, hoodie and whatnot because I get very cold at the airport. So, but yeah, it feels very nice on my back. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
please let me know in the comments down below what you use to pack your luggage with, what things that you would normally take. It varies from traveler to traveler. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, click the subscribe button, and the bell to receive notifications of when I upload videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!